Today we're talking about Zewa Wet Temptation. Does it smell like Baccarus 540? Yes, it does. Is it worth purchasing? Yes, it is, but there's more to the story, so listen up. Purchasing this fragrance is rather difficult because I tried to get it online. It really isn't possible in Germany, at least of the time I'm shooting this video. And you have to search for your local stores if they got it in stock. Um, there's also a section on the website, the Zewa website, um, where you can search for a local store availability. And if you're then actually able to get this fragrance, it's an incredible deal. This bottle only costs 16 bucks for 80 milliliters. Fucking sheep. Great smelling juice. Can't go wrong with it. And for that price, you even get a beautiful bottle. It's pretty, yeah, out of focus. What the fuck? It really entices you to play around with it because it's, it feels so good in the hand, you feel me? It's pretty heavy, can't go wrong. Also, the atomizer. Beautiful, one of the best atomizers I ever had. Honestly, people, the server is doing some pretty awesome stuff. Talking about the longevity and the projection on the other hand, on my skin, it's so, so. The longevity on that fragrance is pretty damn good. I get around eight hours, which for a fragrance, which only costs 16 bucks is freaking incredible. But the projection and the silage are not that good. It stays rather close to your skin and also a different person who I asked for their opinion said the same. So not the best, but for the price, pretty damn good. Can't complain too much. Talking about the smell and the notes in this fragrance, the notes are orange, amber and evanol. Evanol. And in the opening, to me, it smells like a hand sanitizer, the first 10 minutes. And after that, it smells like a condom combined with the dentist's office. And a pleasant amount of sweetness. Very weird combination, I know, but it smells better than it sounds. Uh, some people also said that it smells like cotton candy, even after like 30 minutes or something like that. I disagree with that. I do think that it smells like cotton candy after the six hour mark. Then it also, to my nose, it becomes just too sweet. It's not unisex anymore, it's a woman's scent. Um, at least to my nose, I wouldn't find a cotton candy smell very attractive on a guy. Also, if you have some clothes covered in that fragrance and you have them laying around in your room and you got back from a day of work or something like that, you get in your room, it really smells like a, uh, like a woman's room because it's so sweet. And it also smells pretty damn similar to Baccarat Rouge and way more similar than Ariana Grande Cloud. I think if you spread Baccarat Rouge on your left wrist and Wet Temptation on your right wrist and you ask a random stranger on, your, on the street, hey, what do you think? How do these uh, two fragrances compare to each other? I think they wouldn't really be able to pick up on any big differences. Maybe very subtle ones, but not really something to write stories about. Yes, there are very subtle differences, but this is close, people. I'm telling you, very, very close. Just a little break here. If you enjoyed this video so far, then like it, subscribe to my channel, ring the little bell on there to become part of this lawfully and growing fragrance community. And now, let's continue the video. Overall, I do like the smell of this fragrance from the 30 to 5 hour mark when you just um, put it on. But before and after that, it's not really something I would suggest for a guy. If you are a girl, you can easily pull it off in any kind of a situation, but I'd say it's more like a casual scent because it's rather seductive with the sweetness it got in there. If you are a guy, you really have to be down to kind of push the boundaries of a unisex or men's fragrance. I can tell you a lot of guys wouldn't wear this fragrance and also wouldn't um, imagine a guy wearing this fragrance but if you say i don't give a fuck i just like the smell just like myself then also you can easily pull it off in terms of seasons when you can put this fragrance on i think spring autumn and winter works pretty damn well just like any kind of weather which isn't too hot when it's over 20 degrees or something like that then it's a little bit too much all in all, you really can't go wrong with that fragrance. It's 16 bucks. If you don't like it, 
then you wasted only 16 bucks. Yes, it's not the best feeling to just <laughs> waste money, but maybe you can just give it to another person. 16 bucks, I think, isn't too big of a deal. And also, if you're thinking about buying Bakus 540, this fragrance may be a good fragrance to try out before you actually spend the big money, because wasting 16 bucks <laughs> is a lot more pleasant than wasting around 200 bucks. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, then like it, subscribe to my channel, also ring the little bell down there. And definitely let me know down in the comments if you already have Wet Temptation and what you think about it. Let us discuss a little bit the pros of the cons of this fragrance and what you associate with that smell. See you in the next one. Out. <laughs>